Well, hey, everybody. I want to play you this video. I've watched it a couple of times. We've been talking about this coming for a long time. And if this is the beginning, then I'm happy that uh, I was able to tell you that the beginning is here. It started. Um, whatever you think is going on, you've got to start examining it if you don't already have been awakened to this truth and misunderstand it. But we are living in the beginning days of full disclosure. And we spoke about this. Oh, my God, I've been talking about this since 2006. I woke up August the 17th, 2003. And in my awakening, I was shown things when I go in out-of-body uh, journeys within my meditative time. And over the years, I tried to tell people some of the things that was going on and some of the things that was happening. But now we can see all kinds of people all over the world waking up and making really cool videos. So I wanted to tell you that. And now I'm going to be quiet and I'm going to uh, make this young lady talk. Don't worry, TikTok. This video is strictly for entertainment and educational purposes only. The State House, and when he came to Congress, those same principles followed him. His belief, his faith that drives him so deeply that some actually mock him for. Those are the principles that make this country so great. Those are the principles that caused people who believe in freedom all around the world to look up at that Statue of Freedom as a beacon of hope for all around the world. And what Mike Johnson is going to do for, for us and our country, getting us back on track. We are just getting started, but people are going to come to know and love what he represents because he fights for things bigger than himself and people who have been ignored for way too long. It is my great privilege to introduce the 45th Speaker of the House, my dear friend, Mike Johnson, the Speaker. Thank you, Stephen, and thank you, uh, Tom and Elise. This is an extraordinary team that has been assembled here to serve the American people. Now, wait a second. Didn't Scalise just call Johnson the 45th Speaker of the House? Why does it say here on NBC News that he's the 56th Speaker of the House? Was Scalise wrong? Not quite. But here we are again. Look at Twitter. They're making fun of him. But why isn't any of the news media carrying this? Why did they just gloss over the fact that Scalise called him the 45th? I mean, look at how many gaffes we have from Biden misspeaking. You would think they would have been feeding off of this, right? Nah, here's the reason why. The 45th Speaker of the House. Pay attention to the date, because it's really important. Come with me down this rabbit hole. Now, looking back, Everybody's talking about the corporation of the United States government. This is when it happened. It started in 1871. The U.S. Reorganization Act actually made the Constitution the possession of the corporation and no longer in the hands of the people. But if you notice, the date is 1871. Now, let's take a look at what happened in July of 1878. It was the Organic Act. This law created a permanent form of government, which is the District of Columbia, right there. That gave the District of Columbia, as the corporation, complete and total control over the United States and ownership of the Constitution. Are you putting two and two together now? 
Scalise called him the 45th Speaker of the House. They've just gotten rid of the corporation of the United States. And here's your proof. What happened to DC? It's gone. Wow. That's big. That is, that's what we know for a long time, people. And now is the awakening. They've even had the words, the great awakening, where they shadow banned it, throttled it back. And anybody that was putting out truth, they managed to take their channels down, managed to just really mess with them. But now, things are starting to turn around. There have been some really big evidences of these things. So just to be keeping in, in form, I'm letting you know this. Love is the key. Turn your cell phones off. Quit watching uh, terrestrial news. Unplug your TV from the wall. Listen to your heart. Start meditating. You are a Christ conscious being. You're not a body. You're not your name. You're not your personality. The very thing that you are is the resurrected power of the I am. You are, I could have clicked that a long time ago and I didn't know it, <laughs> but you are very special. And everyone you see, is that same specialness. So therefore, no one is special. It's just the one. When your mind and heart, soul, down to your atoms, grasp who you are, you'll realize that the thing that you are is the Father, is the source of all things. You are a light body being and gravity physical form for a very short time. And we're coming up on the unveiling of the truth of who we are. All war will go away. With this disclosure, there will be war. Because there's a lot of people don't want you to hear this. But that is, even within itself, is a loop. And in that loop is another loop. And if you remember and ask Father, Mother, God to show you the divine understanding of my understanding most of who and what I am, then you'll realize that what they're doing in the outer world is a loop. And we've been here before. And Baby Jesus is fixing to come and go. Easter Bunny's going to come and go. Fourth of July will come and go. And we'll be right back here to October and November. And the world can change overnight when you change. When you realize that if you do any harm to anyone or anything, you're doing it to yourself. When you realize that the living Christ of the I am presence of the resurrected Christ energy, that's it, energy. That's it, it is energy. That's what you are. Not your personality, not your egoic mind, not your body suit, not your name. Everybody wants to hold on to their name. We've never really been buddy. Hey. I've never really been here. It appears that I'm here. And it appears that you're here. But the truth is, this is not happening. We are already safe in the loving arms of our Father. We come here to learn these lessons. 
and love one another. Now you can start thinking for yourself. Now that you found out that there's no longer a corporation and we're back at square one, we are so blessed. The amount of information and goodwill that's going to come out here in the next month, weeks, years, it gives us hope for our children's children's children. Because, yeah, this loop keeps going. And it keeps going. And it keeps going. This body will pass away. But if you get this, you are a light body being inhabiting a physical form. You cannot die. Your body will go to the ground and decay and die. But the God spark that's in you is what, what's, is what it is. It's eternal life. The judgment was already done before the foundation of this artificial matrix. This simulation that we see out here is a matrix. When you know that, then you can start loving yourself and you can forgive yourself for all your mistakes. And the Christ to settle into your heart, teach you how to meditate, teach you how to steal your mind, teach you how to love yourself. Most important thing, love yourself. Forgive everyone that's ever done anything to you. It's only been your thoughts that have ever got you into trouble or got you out of it. You are creating your reality with your thinking, and that's how the dark ones have been controlling the world with the collective minds. You're very loved. I love you. If you see me, say, hey, buddy. If you want help and need help, say, hey, buddy. Talk to me for a little bit. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell. If you need help, ask someone that can see the Christ within you, and you'll find it. I love y'all, all of you. There's not many of us that are actually here. That's going to take quite a few more years for people to figure out. But there's never been no seven billion of anything, especially people. <laughs> I think it's kind of comical. At the most, uh, Christ conscious beings, there might be 10 million. And that number can grow. And it will grow with this disclosure. Enough said. Later.